Welcome to another tutorial for the TI-30X Plus MathPrint Calculator. In this session, I'll work through a sample problem associated with conditional probability, incorporating both the normal and binomial distribution. A good cup of coffee starts with perfectly roasted beans. Roasters' coffee selects their beans carefully. Prior to roasting, the beans are dried and weighed. The weight of the dried beans is normally distributed with an average of 0.17 grams and a standard deviation of 0.005 grams. Beans are automatically accepted if they weigh more than 0.175 grams and rejected if they are less than 0.16 grams. This leaves a large quantity of beans to be tested. Roasters put these beans into large bags. Testers select 10 beans from these bags and if at least 8 of the selected beans weigh more than 0.165 grams, the whole bag is accepted for roasting. We want to know what is the probability that one of these large bags is accepted for roasting. This is an example of conditional probability. The beans in the bag set for retesting represent a reduced sample from our original population. The probability of selecting a bean weighing more than 0.165 grams is no longer the same. Now we are sampling from a subset of the original population. To solve this problem I'll start by letting A represent the probability of a bean weighing more than 0.165 grams. B will represent the probability that a bean weighs between 0 0.16 and 0 0.175 grams. The first part of our solution is therefore looking for the probability of A given B. That is to say, selecting a bean weighing more than 0.165 grams from our testing bags. We can use the TI-30X Plus MathPrint to find the probability of event B. We know the weights are normally distributed, so I'll start with the distributions menu and select normal cumulative density function. The mean is 0 0.17 and the standard deviation is 0 0.005. For event B, I need to find the probability associated with beans weighing between 0 0.16 and 0 0.175 grams. The result is 0 0.8185. This is our reduced sample space. I'm going to store this result in B. As I have another related problem to solve, I'll select Solve Again. This time we need to determine the intersection of A and B. The mean and standard deviation are the same as before. The intersection of A and B are lines to beans weighing between 0 0.165 and 0 0.175 grams. I'll store the intersection of A and B in C. So, the probability of A given B is simply 0 0.6827, the value that I stored in C, divided by 0 0.8185, the value that I stored in B. If you want to see these values, you can use the Recall option. So, the probability of selecting a bean weighing more than 0 0.165 grams, given that it is selected from beans that are known to weigh between 0 0.16 and 0 0.175, is 0 0.834. Now we return our attention to the final step in Roaster's quality control. The problem stated that 10 beans would be selected at random from these bags. 
the bags are accepted if eight or more of these beans weigh more than 0 0.165 grams. These bags are very large, so we can assume that the probability will not change by just removing 10 beans. So, now we have a binomial probability. A bean is either more than 0.165, or it's not. Our probability of success is 0.834, and we need to select 8, 9, or 10 of these beans in our sample. So, returning to our calculator, I'm going to generate the probability for 8, 9, or 10 successes. So, I'll store these values in list 1. Now, I will use the binomial probability density function and select the list option. We have 10 trials. The probability of success in any one of these trials is 0.834. List 1 contains our favourable events, so the results of these calculations will be pasted in List 2. Now we have the likelihood of 8, 9 or 10 favourable results. We therefore need the sum of these. You could write these values down, or Press the data key, navigate to operations, and select sum list. Select list 2. So, the probability that Roasters accepts one of these test bags for roasting is 0 0.777. Huh, we're all done. I think it's time I'll go and get myself a cup of coffee. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to be notified as more tutorials are added to this series. If you have any questions about this tutorial, or need to know about other features on the TI-30X Plus MathPrint Calculator, please leave your questions or comments in the section below. Thanks for watching.